Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share about Andaman and Nicobar Island travel guide and tourism. Andaman is one of the best place where I born and brought up. If you are planning to travel your dream destination Andaman and Nicobar Islands, there are few top things you need to know before visit. As I'm basically from Andaman, so I know all the details and the tourist spots and everything about Andaman culture and the locations. So today I'm going to share the same things with you so that in future if you are planning to visit Andaman, this video will be useful for you. For visitors, there is no need of any inner line permit to visit Andaman and Nicobar Island. But you cannot visit the place Nicobar Island. Andaman and Nicobar Island is a part of Union Territory and is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island is Port Blair. Official language in Andaman and Nicobar Island is Hindi. However, there are so many multicultural people are living here, but the basic language and the official language is Hindi. As I said that the Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and you will find all the facilities here. In Port Blair, there are sufficient ATM machines where you can withdraw cash. But when you are planning to visit the inter islands, it's wise to carry cash when visiting the islands like Havelock, Neil, North and Little Andaman. Said Port Blair is generally used as a basic city to catch Ferraris to nearby island. However, tourists also spend a day or two here to explore the town and nearby beaches. People also take a day trip to Los Island, North Bay Island or to a Jolly Bo Island from Port Blair. So Port Blair is the main city to connect all the inter-islands where you will catch all the Ferraris and everything. And Port Blair is the main hub to travel back to your cities from the airport or a seaport. Also, Andaman and Nicobar Island is a bit expensive place to travel. To reach Port Blair, the airfares are costlier compared to other routes. So, better plan your trip in advance. Andaman and Nicobar Island, there are so many interesting places where you can visit. Like Radhanagar Beach, Cellular Jail, Rose Island, Elephant Beach, North Bay Island, Scuba Diving in Andaman and or Snorling or Sea Walking. Radha Nagar Beach, it's located in Havelock Island and it is awarded with the title of Asia's best beach and it has a blue water and powdery white sand leaves up to the moniker. This is one of the best beach in Andaman and Nicobar Island in a prime attraction. Only visit Radha Nagar Beach during 6 am to 5 pm and also come out before 5 30 pm as it begins to get really dark around 4.30 pm. So the location is exactly in Baratang state in Port Blair. Avoid the rainy season, visit either between March to May or September to February. The Cellular Jail, it's located in Port Blair, also known as Kalapani, is an old colonial prison situated in Port Blair, the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island. Constructed by the Britishers during their control rule in India, the jail was used particularly to exile Indian political prisoners. It was used to house many notable freedom fighters. Cellular Jail is one of the top most visited tourist spots in Port Blair and there will be an entry ticket cost rupees 30 and if you are bringing a camera there will be 200 rupees and if you are bringing a video camera it's 1000 rupees and the timings for entering this memorial is 9 am to 1 pm and again 2 pm to 5 pm every mondays are closed and every evening there will be a light and sound shows with architect of cellular jail and cellular jail memorial for seeing this light and sound show every tuesday thursday saturday and sundays there will be a shows for hindi shows 6 pm and 7 15 pm there is two shows and for english shows only the timing is 7 15 pm if you want to see this show the price for per head is indian rupee 50 Rose Island, it is one of the most visitors place 
where you can explore the rhines visit the sanitary in the sanitary you can see eagle parrots and peacock and also you can experience the light and sound show which will conducted at 4 pm every day in that light show they'll explain you the historical incident that occurred here during the pre independence era so so many things are there to see so you can plan and visit it will take almost 4 to 5 hours to see but if you spend whole day it is worthy the whole day will be from 8 am to 6 pm one day usually it takes to see the club part of the things so for visiting this place you have to take a ferrari from the aberdeen jetty if you only wants to see the light show then you can take 4 pm boat ride to this island so you can reach on time also visit elephant beach which is located 2 km from the radha nagar beach where you can go and swim snorkeling sports like banana boat ride speed boats and diving there are so many exciting things to do in elephant beach north bay island this island is blessed with some of the most stunning beach in india covered with ash colored sand and tropical trees Kindly visit this island to know more about this island. Scuba diving. It is located in Havelock Island. is the most ideal place of South Andaman, where you can go diving. You can reach here from Port Blair in catamaran ferry that takes ninety minutes, and also there is a government ferry that takes you two point five hours. So better visit this place and experience the scuba diving. In Andaman and Nicobar Island, there is no Ola and Uber service in Port Blair City also. So you have to hire a private car for sightseeing. However, there are so many autos running which you can easily hire. For accommodation, there are wide variety of hotels and staying options in Andaman and Nicobar Island. Depending on your own comfort, amenities, and price, check-in and check-out timings. How to reach Andaman by flight? There is a Airport Veer Shavkar International Airport in Port Blair is connected via flights to Calcutta, Chennai, Delhi, Visakhapatnam, Hyderabad and Bangalore and the popular flights operating to Andaman Indigo Air India Go Air SpiceJet and also you can reach Andaman by waterways if traveling by sea you can take a ship from Chennai Visakhapatnam or Kolkata the ship usually take 60 to 70 hours and have 3 to 4 sailings a month Via Chennai. If you are traveling via Chennai to Port Blair, there are ships MV Shorazdeep, MV Nicobar, MV Nankori, and MV Akbar. It takes you sixty hours approximately to reach Port Blair. And from Visakhapatnam, there are three ships available: MV Nicobar, MV Nankori, and MV Campbell Bay. And it takes fifty-six hours approximately. and from calcutta there is a ship available to reach port blair there are two ships one is swaraj deep and mv akbar this takes approximately 66 hours to reach compared to all the ships i personally suggest you if you get tickets in swaraj deep travel in swaraj deep otherwise mv camel bay these two ships are very good and one of the best amenities available inside and the food quality is also good Once you reach Port Blair, if there is an inter-island islanders are available, then they have to travel their own islands. For traveling their own islands, they have to take a connecting ship from Port Blair. So from Port Blair, the islanders will wait and take a uh, check the ship schedule and they will travel. Like there is so many big big islands are there like Kamota, Kachal, Campbell Bay. Nicobar so many islands are there so the main jetty is there in Port Blair is Phoenix Bay jetty the main jetty so from there they will take the ships and they will reach their own islands and the sea cost for islanders is very compared to the visitors because islander have their own islander card that's why they will get their uh, discounted fare but for visitors i'm not aware about the fare you can check online and for islanders everyone is aware they have a local certificate that they are belongs to andaman so they will get their own discounts and they will get their own benefits and the main mobile network is working over all the island is bsnl bsnl connecting with people 
and the best time to visit andaman as per my knowledge there is no best time and worst time because being an islander i like throughout the year to stay in andaman because every month and every day there will be a rain at least there will be a mild rain will be there in andaman and nicobar island so if you are planning to travel in summer summer will be april to july and if you are planning to travel in moon zone it will be july to september if you are planning to travel in winter october to march it accordingly your own choice as i told you that there are so many places to visit in port blair apart from port blair there are inter islands also available in port blair i already explained you so many things like cellular jail rose island wandalur beach north bay carbon sco beach so many things are there if you want to see a sight seeing in all these places at least spend two days for sight seeing of each places so that you can have a more clarity of your views and also if you want to visit the inter islands like have lock neel digli pur little andaman campbell bay hut bay nicobar kachal there are so many islands 572 islands are there in andaman and nicobar islands if you wants to look all these island then you need more time to spend there and during this pandemic situation andaman government is managing everything in a proper way there is a very less death ratio and there is very less cases there are so many prevention measurements that andaman government is following and i can say that the best place to stay during this pandemic is andaman and nicobar island where people are very safe okay friends i hope this video will help you to planning your trip to andaman and nicobar island if you have any queries questions please put them in the comment section below so that i'll reply you accordingly don't forget to like and share the video and as yes, if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification button see you soon be safe wear mask maintain social distance sanitize your hands stay safe take care be healthy bye bye